I am Dr. Vijay Anand Reddy, a senior consultant oncologist at Apollo Cancer Institute and the director at Apollo Cancer Institute, Hyderabad. Retinoblastoma is a tumor which arises in the eye, which is actually happens in the back of the eye, what we call as a screen of the eye. The tumor arising from there, it is called a retinoblastoma. It is common tumor in children. If we look at globally, it's around 1 in 15,000 live births, you find one case of retinoblastoma. In India, it is 1 in 10,000. For every 10,000 births, you will find one retinoblastoma case. Across the globe, there are 5,000 new retinoblastoma cases being diagnosed per year, and out of which 50% of them would happen in Asia, and out of which 25% happens in India. So. In India, we see around 1,500 to 2,000 new cancer cases of retinoblastoma in our country. Now, retinoblastoma commonly happens in children, especially less than 4 years, out of which it is even more common in less than 1 year of age group. 11% of all the childhood cancers in children who are less than 1 year are retinoblastomas. The good thing about retinoblastomas is that they are highly, highly curable and they can be detected very, very easily. Is there a reason to get retinoblastoma? No. There is 90 to 95 percent of the case of retinoblastoma just happens sporadically. It can happen to any person, to any child without any previous history or without his parents having retinoblastoma. The consanguinity and the hereditary retinoblastoma is hardly 5 to 6 percent. So 90 to 95 percent it can happen to any child, to any family. So you should be aware of it that there is a tumor that can happen in the eye and that tumor is easily detectable by a parent or by a pediatrician. How can a parent recognize this? When you look at the child into their eyes, you will find some kind of a white reflex where you Normally, you see a center black spot in the eye. In a retinoblastoma, you find a white speck in the center of the eye. Especially when you take a photograph, especially on a birthday, you see that one of the eyes or both the eyes in the center, instead of being black, it looks absolutely white. So, what we call it as a white reflex. The other symptom could be the child might be looking right or left or he might be having trouble in the vision or any of the eye can become red or he might have squint. If you have any of these symptoms, you should immediately contact your pediatrician or an eye specialist or a cancer specialist. It's very easy to diagnose retinoblastoma. It is just by clinical examination by an ophthalmologist. They have a classical features to detect retinoblastoma only on clinical examination. We do not need to do a biopsy to confirm the diagnosis of retinoblastoma. It is almost certain by clinical examination we can diagnose and we can initiate the treatment. So once you diagnose retinoblastoma, entire treatment is depends on the stage of the disease. As long as the tumor is within the eyeball, we call it as stage 0 to stage 1 where the tumor is within the eyeball, where again it is divided into group A to group E. When the tumor is in group A, B and C, that means there are multiple spots within the retina, we do a local therapy called cryotherapy or thermotherapy. That means an ophthalmologist, an ocular oncologist, an eye specialist who is specialized in dealing with cancers, would do local therapy that is called laser therapy or cryotherapy or thermotherapy. They just burn those tumors. So these children need to have a very close follow-up every three months till they attain the age of four years. In other words, these tumors can come back again and again till the child grows up to the age of four years. So once it completes four years, the chance of disease coming back would be very less or less than 5%. Suppose if the tumor is beyond the areas of local therapy, that means thermotherapy or cryotherapy, that means the lesions are bigger in size where we can't burn them off, 
then we do chemotherapy so we stage these tumors as group c or group d or group e so these days chemotherapy has done wonders in this retinoblastoma children they respond dramatically with this chemotherapy drugs we use three drug combination with vincristin etoposide and carboplatin with intravenous injections once in 3 weeks for a period of 3 to 6 cycles most of these children they respond dramatically and once they become smaller they are again treated with local therapy called cryotherapy or thermotherapy if the tumor is even bigger in size than group c or group b or group e we also do chemotherapy in the eye we call it as intravitreal chemotherapy or subconjunctival chemotherapy with carboplatin and these drugs do a real good res- give good responses even in this situation sometimes we also do intra arterial chemotherapy in a child where the tumor is bigger and the child cannot be treated with local therapy intra arterial chemotherapy has got 80% results what we do in intra arterial chemotherapy is like an angiogram we pass a catheter from the femur it gets into the abdomen chest and into the heart and it gets into the neck the catheter goes up to the uh, lateral part of the eye and then we inject the drug directly into the ophthalmic artery which supplies the eye so when you do chemotherapy drugs directly into the eye with this method which is called intra arterial chemotherapy the tumor responses would be almost 80 to 90% So this is another new form of therapy that we do and that has an excellent results. So beyond that if suppose the patient has got a recurrence in one area after being treated with local therapy or chemotherapy or thermotherapy or intraarterial chemotherapy we have a, a special t- treatment with a radiation called brachytherapy where we use a radioactive plaque and put it right on the tumor so that the tumor will melt away so this is another way of treating retinoblastoma and in some cases where the tumor is too big and the tumor has come out of the eye ball into the orbit in such situations we may have to go and remove the eye ball and then post operatively you might require external beam radiation treatment so that the disease will not come back in the orbit so there are various forms of treatment all these forms of treatment are based on the stage of the disease our goal is to save life which is utmost important then the next uh, goal is to save the globe that means eyeball should be retained and finally retain the vision so saving the vision saving the globe and saving the life are our goals when we address this kind of tumors thank you